Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, they reviewed local affairs that aimed to reinforce and support the National March. His Majesty affirmed the importance of this phase and the need for extensive efforts to develop the Kingdom and preserve its achievements. His Majesty highlighted the importance of diversifying the national economy through supporting the existing sectors and establishing new economic sectors to benefit the country and its people. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain has managed to advance towards comprehensive development thanks to the efforts of its people. He expressed pride in the constant endeavors of Bahrainis to reinforce the Kingdom's status in all fields. He hailed the efforts of their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince to develop the government and to adopt initiatives and programs that support the Bahraini economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Ghadaybiya Palace today, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee in Pakistan, General Zubair Mahmoud. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that regional and bilateral cooperation between the countries of the region is now considered a necessity in light of the threatening challenges that face the area. His Royal Highness noted the GCC country's unity and solidarity, which helped in overcoming all threats that aimed to dis disturb the area's security. The Prime Minister reviewed with the Chairman of the Pakistani Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee the strong, friendly Bahraini-Pakistani relations and ways to further develop cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields, especially in light of the current security and economic situations in the region. He hailed Pakistan's role in regional and international affairs as an Islamic country, stressing the Kingdom's keenness in developing military cooperation with Pakistan in order to combat terrorism. For his part, General Mahmoud highlighted His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's wisdom in dealing with various Arab and Islamic issues, noting that Pakistan considers the security of Bahrain and the GCC as part of its own. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the Pakistani Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, General Zubair Mahmoud Hayat, and his accompanying delegation. Upon arrival, Pakistan's national anthem was played and then the Guards of Honor were inspected. 
After that, the BDF Commander in Chief and General Mahmoud held, an official, held official talks, and the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, Under Secretary of Defense Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and senior BDF officials, as well as the Pakistani Ambassador to Bahrain. The Pakistani Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee was then briefed on the BDF and its development in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The BDF Commander-in-Chief stressed the importance of the Pakistani delegation's visit in reinforcing military cooperation and strengthening the friendly relations between the two countries. The Pakistani delegation paid a visit to the Royal Command and Staff College and National Defense and was received by the Commandment Navy Brigadier General Abdullah Saeed Al Mansouri and a number of senior officers. The BDF Commander-in-Chief held a lunch banquet in the BDF Officers Club in honor of the Pakistani Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali al Salah, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved a decree by law regarding the establishment of the National Institution for Human Rights. The Council also approved a draft law regarding the air transfer agreement between Bahrain and the Czech Republic and another draft law regarding air services agreement with Hungary and Georgia. The Council then approved a draft proposal regarding commercial record. The joint drill Hamad II, which is initiated by the Bahrain Defense Force and Egypt's Armed Forces, was launched today. The drill is part of a series of joint exercises held between the two brotherly countries to reinforce the deep-rooted historic relations within the framework of supporting military cooperation. The drill reflects the high level of coordination between the two countries through the participation of a number of aerial and naval forces in the drill. Under the patronage of the Interior Ministry Undersecretary Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the Public Security Officers Club held today the 33rd GCC Traffic Week activities in the presence of Acting Director General of Traffic Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa, Interior Ministry's officials, and GCC delegations. The Undersecretary of the Interior Ministry awarded the winners of the traffic activities, which included students from primary, intermediate, and high school who won in the speech competition. He also awarded winners of the arts competition, theater, and traffic activity. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,366.0 points, marking an increase of 12.44 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 62% of total shares. 119 transactions included 5,091,886 shares, worth 1,297,205 Bahraini dinars. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a press conference in Beit al-Tujjar today to reveal details about the Bahraini-Pakistani Investment Opportunities Conference to be held on March 30th of this year in the capital city of Pakistan. More on this report with Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain and Pakistan share a historic and deep-rooted relationship. With a view to explore new avenues of cooperation in diverse fields, a press conference was hosted by the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry today. In the presence of members of the Joint Business Council and local media and press, the conference was an opportunity to the investors and the businessmen of both sides to discuss the potential areas of two-way investments, bilateral trade and expansion of existing commercial ties. We think that there is so much unused potential that, uh, that we can benefit from, from Pakistan and that they can, they can, we can also invest in Pakistan. Pakistan is a friendly country and we have, we have uh, all the respect for them. The Pakistani ambassador hailed the growing Bahraini-Pakistani ties and the keenness of the leadership of both friendly countries in a bid to build on its outcomes. 
He encouraged members of the business community in Bahrain and the GCC to attend the conference in Pakistan and seize their invaluable investment and networking opportunities. Bahrain is a gateway uh, to the GCC. It offers tremendous opportunities. The business-friendly climate in Bahrain uh, of, would be of, of a lot of interest to Pakistani businessmen. They can base their companies in Bahrain and trade with the Gulf countries and even with some other countries. Business relations reinforcement and the expanding cooperation in diverse investment fields was everyone's concern. The target is 100 business communities people are going. Uh, our, I think already Ambassador has mentioned the 50 business community already registered with the embassy. They are interested to go different sector like I mentioned food sector, civil aviation sector, logistics sector, uh, energy sectors and then tourism and hospitality side. This conference was an indicator that ties between Pakistan and Bahrain are on the highest trajectory and are heading towards a robust cooperation in diversified fields. Bahrain and Pakistan have a history of strong ties on all levels. Therefore, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized a conference regarding its participation in the Pakistani-Bahraini Business Opportunities Conference, which will take place in the capital city of Pakistan toward the end of this month. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.